quite the reputation. And you should have stayed overseas. I thought about it, but then I remembered. I've got a reputation too. This episode um, pits Oliver against an assassin who he discovers was hired to take out a target in a startling city. Ferrer's world class. He kills high profile targets and whatever job he was hired for isn't finished. We need to figure out who he was here to kill and fast. They are probably still in danger. Oliver's in a race to find out who that target is before another assassin gets there first. Hello, Lawton. I see your edge has dulled. I knew you were there. I just didn't care if you killed me. One of the things I'm really excited about this episode is that Deadshot's back. And Deadshot is a huge character in the comic books. He is uh, one of my favorite characters from the Suicide Squad. Um, he was in an earlier episode, got shot in the eye by Arrow, looks like he's dead, and thankfully he survived. And China watched the one that comes in and rehabilitates him and says, hey, here's a second chance. And just like all of our characters are getting second chances this episode, so is Deadshot. So. Who needs two bullets in the chest? Deadshot's return obviously is going to impact Diggle in a major way. Deadshot was responsible for the death of his brother and Diggle was uh, uh, believing that Deadshot was dead. And with Deadshot returning, it gives Diggle a whole new focus, um, a whole mission all his, all his own that uh, could clash with what Oliver wants. I wanted to make sure that your birthday celebration got its due celebration. It was a little bit... Um... Tense last night. I'll trust my dad to run all the smiles out of the room. This episode really focuses on the relationship between Oliver and Tommy, and Tommy reveals a lot of the problems he has with his father that go well beyond the fact that his father cut him off from all his money and everything else. I know the two of you have never been close, but it couldn't have been easy for him after your mom was killed. Yeah, I guess he forgot that there were two of us in that club. I think Tommy sees Oliver as family more than he sees his own father as family. And now this episode's gonna challenge all of that. So there's a lot of references to comic book stuff. If you're a DC fan, you'll see Deadshot, China White, uh, The Merlins, Green Arrow, um, Dinah Lance. I don't know why my father bought her that canary. That thing chirped night and day, drove us all nuts. There's some references in there that aren't just Easter eggs, but actually plant seeds that are foreshadowing the events to come, the events that happened. And uh, again, for a DC Comics fan, uh, you'll catch them right away.